Hello everyone, Jay Sieben here, and today we're going to be showing you Elementary OS uh, Luna Beta 2. This is the second beta. I made a video earlier of the first beta. Uh, this time I've got audio. And uh, basically, you know, it's just basically a more polished version. There is a slightly updated uh, theme. If you notice, the, uh, the icons have changed a little bit on things. Uh, in the media player, uh, for example, uh, the play and pause and whatever, you know, they're black now, rather than uh, um, the original colors they were. <laughs> I think it was blue or something. Any, I don't even remember. Uh, but now they're black. I like that a lot better. It looks nicer, in my opinion. Um, if you... Uh, I also installed a Pantheon notifications. If you take notice... Uh, when the next song comes on, uh, you can s uh, you'll can you see one of the notifications uh, as soon as it comes in. I'm going to click the X here. So here I am doing some work on the computer. And uh, you'll notice, there it is. Those are the new notifications. Uh, they're insanely nice looking. They will go away on their own. I closed it out there. Um... Yeah, that's uh, it's actually a pretty nice OS. Um, I love the media player on it. Um, the terminal. Uh, one thing you'll notice here uh, that it has the dark GDK theme style uh, in GDK3. Uh, GNOME 3, you'll notice that some apps such as the uh, movie player is black well it's also black on here however it's not that way by default I had to install a separate theme um, let's stop that uh, the other thing is um, I installed a few apps such as Skype uh, I have LibreOffice on here I actually modified some of the theming in LibreOffice to make it integrate much more nicely with uh, with the the system um, one thing uh, it takes some getting used to is there is no minimize button and I with this theme that I'm using um, there is a way to get a minimize button whoops I'll just show you here this is the command I type in and we now have a minimize button um, so this actually works, however, there's something extremely irritating with this in this theme that I'm using. Um, if you'll notice here, and it's, it's kind of hard to tell on this, but you notice here these are the three window control buttons. But take a look up here, the minimize button looks as if the window is focused, where the other two buttons are sort of grayed out a bit because the window is not focused. And if I maximize, the hover effect doesn't work on the minimize button, so... Uh, for that reason, I actually disable it because I'd rather go without the minimize button than to have um, than to have a funny looking minimize button. Um, anyway, that's the theme. Hopefully, the people who made the theme will update it better. Uh, this again, it's not the default theme, but I actually like the looks of this. Um, so uh, yeah, so hello world. Uh, but anyway, minimize works by either right-clicking, clicking minimize, or you can simply click the icon down here on the dock, which is called plank. Uh, there's also a few minor changes into the uh, the system settings uh, area. Basically, um, basically, um, you can now choose a theme for the uh, the plank dock. Uh, so, for example, that looks like the first version of Elementary OS theme. Uh, you can also pick different themes as well. I go with the default because I think it looks better. Um, the other thing is, um, you can set hot corners. That's not different from the last one. But basically, there's a lot of bug fixes, a few cosmetic changes in it. Um, it's overall a wonderful operating system and I would encourage anybody to use it. I'm now using it as my main OS and loving every minute of it. It's it's a really awesome operating system. So anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching.